Okay, let's talk about the Alex math placement exam. Uh, but really, it's not an exam, it's uh, more an assessment. But specifically, we're going to talk about in this video is how to do great on uh, the Alex assessment. Okay, now, uh, if you're watching this video, you're likely a um, uh, first year college student. That's the majority of the people who take the Alex exam. So you're going into school. Um, or you know you're you know, maybe uh, mid semester and you got to take this Alex ex assessment to kind of see where you're going to place in terms of uh, your math class, okay? And uh, depending on how well you do on this is going to uh, determine your um, your level of math that you're going to be enrolled in. Now, of course, with any placement exam or assessment, you want to do as well as possible because if uh, you can avoid taking a particular course, let's say uh, uh, math, I'll just use some uh, generic terms here, math 101, let's say math uh, 201 or math 200, okay? So let's say you need math 200 to fulfill the general requirements for your major or to graduate you know, from your college, right? But if you can't place it at math 200, then you have to start with math 101. Okay, so you're going to spend a whole semester or maybe a year of time and money to take this math in order to get into this math. However, if you have the current math skills to place into math 200, you can just go right directly to here. So it's a serious exam in terms of saving you time and money. So you want to do as well as you can uh, on the Alex. But again, it's not a pass or fail type of uh, scenario. It's an assessment, okay? And really, um, I'll, the purpose of this video is to get you to think in terms of um, uh, your whole mathematics uh, ability so you can understand what the Alex is gonna actually uh, be doing for you. So let's get into um, how you do well on the Alex, okay? So the obvious um, answer here how you do great on Alex math placement assessment is to really know your math right you got to know your stuff so let's just put this down here so you got to know math and really I could probably just stop this video and you've been pretty disappointed you give me a thumbs down you're like this is a terrible video yes and I would also rate this as a terrible video if I just stop there but essentially okay if this is a math uh, assessment you need to be thinking about like you got to think of this uh, assessment as like hey I'm not just going to be able to like you know um, use some particular methods to answer questions in a particular way you know and hope to get as, as many points to get a particular score that's not what this assessment's going to do it's really going to be gauging how well you know math but in particular it's going to be focusing in on how many uh, math skills you know okay so that's one of the unique things about the Alex uh, uh, assessment is hey here's a bunch of questions okay so it's the whole idea of the assessment is not to just get a total of how many points you got here okay that would be tell me okay I had a hundred math questions and I got 70 uh, of them correct well yeah if that was you know that might be a final exam that might tell me something but if you're taking let's say a chapter test in your math class that tells me a lot more right if I'm if we're taking a test on quadratic equations and you score 90 that tells me a, a lot more about what's going on well with the Alex um, assessment what they're really honing in on is how many skills you know how many math skills you know that's different than the concept of how many math uh, questions can you answer? There's you got to distinguish between the two. So what's a math skill? A math skill you can kind of think of as like um, uh, can you like your ability to graph lines, for example. Okay, that's a skill, right? In other words, there's a lot of things you need to know in order to be able to graph lines in algebra, or your ability to solve quadratic equations. Okay, or your ability to solve systems of equations. Okay, and then there's obviously sub skills within these skills. You can kind of think of uh, skills in mathematics in terms of like a chapter, chapters, and sections in a traditional kind of course format. So, 
what I'm talking about here is that you really do need to know your your stuff. You don't want to go into to Alex assessment is if you do know you're going to be taking it uh, sometime soon without reviewing. And by the way, this is a good time for me to uh, to state that um, I offer a fantastic uh, Alex math prep course. I'll leave the link in the description of this video if you want to check this out. But it's pretty much a compilation of everything that I've taught um, throughout the years. My background, if you haven't figured it out already, is a math teacher. I've taught middle school math, high school math, college math. And, you know, when you're teaching these courses, you're really you know from a teacher's perspective you're trying to teach the student skills okay not just how to do a problem there's a, there's a difference here right because skills are, are what's going to serve you um and anything you do in in uh in your other classes that are related to math okay whether it be physics chemistry biology etc or even more math classes or computer science uh at that you need to have math skills, not your not the ability to just to do math questions. Okay, so before you take the Alex, you want to kind of like gauge your you know level of readiness. Now, one of the things that I see a lot of students uh, make the mistake of and, uh, is those students. It's typically those students that are already pretty strong in math. Or like, oh yeah, I took algebra one. Uh, algebra 2, geometry, pre-calculus, I did that and by the way I got an A in all those classes. If you have that kind of mindset that oh yeah I have I got an A in those classes therefore I'm going to do really well on Alex, well you likely are going to do well but you may not do as well as you think you are because you kind of you have this kind of overinflated sense of readiness okay. It doesn't make a difference where you're you know your your math background is in terms of what classes you've taken or how well you've done in terms of getting a grade in those classes you need to go and do a lot of studying okay if you have the time to prepare for the alex and and uh study in terms of skills like how many skills do i know okay so hopefully you have a good program of study maybe something like my program or, or another program that's testing your ability to um you know uh, your level of readiness in, the, in particular core uh, math skills and there's tons of them through algebra algebra 2 geometry pre-calculus um, so you know you're, there's hundreds if I'm not mistaken I want to say I'd have to double check this but it, uh, I believe it's around like 314 skills that in the Alex math uh, assessment is going to grade now based upon how well you do on the assessment uh, there are uh, there are options, or uh, basically the test will say, okay, look, you can approve in these particular areas. Depending on your college and and your access to um, the platform, they can basically you know, basically identifies, hey, these are your weak areas, and you can go in as a learning module to improve. So it's a very good diagnostic um, you know platform as well, and it has a very good reputation. That's why a lot of schools use it. So. If you haven't heard of Alex, you very well may be having to face it if you're going to college or you're, you know, enrolled, but you still have to uh, kind of like pick your courses. So the key thing is this. Uh, if you don't know, if you haven't taken uh, these particular math courses in high school, well, listen, you're just going to be able to go in there and do the best you can. And you may have to start off with a, like a math 101 course level course in college and you shouldn't be ashamed of that or be bummed out about that it just means you're not ready to go into the next level you know math class but if you've taken the prerequisite courses that you can get you in to the highest level math class you really should go for it okay so take it from me as a math teacher this is what I do and I do all I do a lot in, in terms of test preparation uh, for students even if you've taken the material before, even myself, I've been doing math for many, many years. I have a degree in math, master's degree, the whole nine yards. Guess what? If I'm going to teach a particular topic, I need to kind of brush off the cobwebs, review, and then focus in. But what am I focusing on? I'm focusing on skills, okay? Math skills, my ability to do something with what I'm learning. Can I, can I um, find the equation of a line? Can I work with number operations okay can i solve rational equations can i simplify radicals all these are you know you want to think of uh in terms of skills and really you know uh, this particular assessment you know there's no kind of cheating 
the you know the assessment itself okay you're either gonna you're either gonna know your stuff or you're not okay but preparation is always key when it comes to this but again the payoff I in my uh, mind's eye can be significant because you just don't want to end up in a class that's lower than your pot uh, current potential okay because you'll be wasting time and money and that's not good so with that being said again um, let me go down here if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel hopefully you'll consider doing so I'm always posting on various um, math topics many of uh, the videos I have on my channel can help you out prepare for the Alex again I have a great specific Alex math test uh, prep course I'll leave the link in the description of this video hey if you liked the video got something out of it definitely appreciate it thumbs up and leave me your feedback let me know if this is your first time taking the Alex or maybe you're taking another exam uh, the Alex assessment um, again is not the only uh, placement uh, assessment that colleges use. There's other things out there like the AccuPlacer which are, are good but uh, the Alex I think is uh, unique that it really does focus in on mathematics and, and skill sets of math which I really like because as a math teacher I think that's the way you gotta look at your math education. But with that being said thank you for your time and have a great day.